Ronnie? Oh. Hello. It's the Hello. Don't worry, That's it's all fine. God, it's Next nice to see you. Okay. Our lives are the sum of our choices. And we cannot escape the past. Ethan, this mission of yours is gonna cost you. I think it's bold of Chris McQuarrie to have a train action sequence when Paddington 2 exists. What oh. about Wallace and Gromit? <laughs> right. I saw, always say to McHugh, his style of filmmaking is like Gromit on top of the train laying the track in front of the train. I have 35 pages. Oh, that's great. Well done. I, yes. send, I send it to him occasionally on text, just Good. that image. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the scene with the, the train in Paddington. <laughs> I just remember that he just like wears a trench coat with like no underwear. <laughs> it's funny what you remember from certain films. Do you think McHugh, Rebecca, yes. saw you were in June and went, you need to be in the desert with sand in your eye? I, <laughs> but with goggles this time. But with goggles. I'm going to change it up for you. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much it costs to take the whole production to Arrakis. That's interstellar. <laughs> the I'm spice alone. <laughs> yeah, it costs a lot of spice. Seriously. Do you think, Rebecca, that people go to the opera in Vienna dressed in gold, yellow dresses? Thank you for saying gold and yellow. Some people said green. You know that trick? Yeah. I had people go, God, your green dress. And I've been going, Bullshit. Not a bloody green Don't dress. Be sick. Ask With the, the big slit in, up the side. You know, in mm. Vienna, who go to the opera in the gold, they'd be confused. Dreadful. Um, definitely. I know there's one. My friend, oh, Hay gosh. my friend Hazel. Is this a meme? Is this no, a no, no. This is a human being. You're gonna meme us. Oh! Oh! Who literally Hazel? went to the opera. As you? Do you know did what? Did she assassinate someone with a flute? And did she walk? She did. <laughs> it was a scaffolding pole. Oh, was it? it, yeah. was, it was, oh no, it, it was flute esque. There was a flute. There was a flute. Someone had a flute. I'm it was sorry, the other it guy. Was a scaffold. It was Wolfie. It was not a full Wolfie flute. had a flute. Wolfie had a flute. I had a scaffold. <laughs> Ding. Part. Ding. Were you there on set for any of the biggest stunts that you yourself weren't involved in? Did you go on set for any of them? Of course. I mean, we were there when uh, Tom did the the craziest motorcycle motorcycle cliff jump in Norway, and he did it in front of us maybe seven or eight times in a row. <laughs> Pretty much the biggest stunt in cinema history. Tom Cruise just rode a motorcycle off a cliff six times today. Can I call him a show off? Is that okay? Is that allowed? I mean, it would be cool to show off if it if he wasn't so um, serious, sincere about yeah. it. you know, and also very not um, very practical mm -hmm. and very. Um, what I'm going to do is drive off a cliff. Yeah, yeah, and but also there's like so much training behind it. You know, there is so much yeah. uh, thoughts behind it, and yeah. and everything that he wants to do is make the audience happy and just. You know, so everyone is exhilarated through throughout the process. You know, yeah, he, just, he did hundreds and hundreds of practice jumps. Yeah, in the studio, and they had to build, you know, a big set for the for the, for the motorcycle to crash into. So, it's so there's crazy. like so much work and respect behind it. You mm -hmm. know, for sure. Are there lines in these movies that you'll never forget because they're so finicky to get out of your mouth? Ethan, desalinized sea <laughs> desalinized seawater with the pressure off. Oh God, yes. <laughs> that was the one that got you. Desalinized seawater. And defibrillator was a word that I couldn't say quickly, and now I can. There's one in here, I think, Simon, you've got to say, which is mind reading, shape shifting, aspect of chaos, a self aware, self learning. At some point, you just have to go, yeah, agent of chaos. And I had to say it with such kind of gravitas because it's the setup to a, a, a sort of a, a, you know, a little gag at the end there. Yeah, but also, can I say, sometimes Simon just makes these things up, they just come on a whim. I had you a line. Very good at there was it. a line when I was describing the White Widow. The White Widow. The White Widow. And I said, uh, it was, uh, she was favorite. international arms dealer uh, and woman most likely to kill you with a hat pin at the point of orgasm. <laughs> Alana Mitsopoulos. Look at that. They cut it out. 
What? what did, How dare them? What did they cut out of this them. one? Because last time we spoke for Fallout, they were like, oh yeah, there was an action set piece and we were in New Zealand for three weeks and yeah, that's not in the movie. Oh, well. What do you have? <clears throat> McHugh has to kill his darlings a lot of the time, you know, when he's trying to bring the film... For, for McHugh and Tom, the film has to last as long as it's entertaining. Right. And sometimes, obviously, you know, we, we, we come... The, the assembly is a lot longer than the finished film. And? So he... Uh, I, I, did, I, I did a lot more boat driving around Venice. Looking good. not in the film. Looking good. Uh, but, you know, you've got to cut to the chase, literally. Yeah, and you've got this cane No, I just have fight. all my scenes in. They're all in there. Yeah. But the cane sword fight, that must have been, I'll do this if I can keep the cane sword. Because... I need, oh, I need that. Yes, but I don't tell anyone that I stole it. I have it at home. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. She takes it out no, shopping. No, I took the, ex, the other one, the one that she takes is it a little. off. <laughs> or any other I want supermarket. A I want a discount <laughs> right now. Yes. <laughs> and that's that. Other supermarkets are available. There are, I mean, so I gather. Yeah. Not that I go to them. What about lines in the street from fans? Do you get people saying quotes at you? You must. I get a lot of cult cornettos. You know, people say, oh, yeah, come up to me sure. and say, you got red on you like it's the first time I've, I've ever heard it. And I go, <laughs> oh, you. You got red on you. Hello, mate. What was the no, line? I don't. You've got red on you. You, you it's must little, watch these movies. Little film I did. I've seen them, they're, but I don't remember the lines. Good. I don't remember them. <laughs> I mean, I've seen them. I, love, I remember the swan. It's a good Hot part. Fuzz. That's good. All right. <laughs> You can stay. <laughs> can you describe it to me? It's about uh, two foot tall, um, long, slender neck. Yeah. Kind of orange and black bill. Anything else? Well, it's a swan. How was the, um, the what's it called, the pain cave this time around? Oh. T T TC's. Was it active this time? I, yeah. I, I wasn't in the Muscle pain gym. cave. I created my own pain cave. He's got all this stuff now with this this, um, this resistance training. Oh. You, 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 it, it's, it, it's resistance on eccentric and concentric moves. He always moves. has the most incredible cool gadgets It's like NASA ever. in there. It's, it's like Q was there. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll have to come. You ben. will. It's like Benji's gym. It's full of technology. It's insane. But, my God. Benji's what? Benji's, Benji's gym. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. going to be my little spin-off. You know The Rock, like, sells booze and stuff and all You're these actors now. They have all these things. I'm going to have a Benji's gym. Yes. You go and it's just Tech pe gym. people playing Call of Duty. My kind of people wearing a suit. <laughs> um, guys, oh, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I can't believe it, Ali Plum. Oh, I love you both. I'm so sorry. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.